Guten Abend, ich bin der Jack und hier ist Phil von Q Music Shop. So, today we're going to be talking about bows and proper playing tension. Take it away, Phil. For how tight you want your bow to be, there are a couple of quick rules. The first is that you want your bow tight enough that all of the hair is a universal tension. You want a nice, clean ribbon of hair. But you never want to tighten your bow so much that it is bowing the other direction. Your bow should always bend toward the hair. The best rule of thumb that I have found for most players is for violinist, a pencil should cleanly pass between your stick and your hair without being stopped at any point in the middle. Some players will play a little bit tighter than that, some players will play a little bit looser than that, but that's the general rule. That will be similar for violists, and uh, just a smidgen more than that for a cellist, and a good portion more than that for a bassist. Now, how to tighten your bow is simply by using this little piece here uh, that will be a silver color on just about every violin bow or viola bow or cello bow. Uh, bass bows, sometimes they're black. Okay? You rotate it clockwise to tighten the hair, counterclockwise to loosen the hair. Always make sure that you loosen your hair every time when you're going to be putting it to, away for the day. Uh, so that the viewers are able to see why that is called the screw. If you do unscrew it, you can see that it is literally a screw. <gasps> Gasp! I don't recommend doing that unless you are a more advanced player. Don't completely take your screw out of your bow, otherwise you can end up hit, having your frog fall off and your hair tangling. Not a good idea. And that is proper tension involving a bow. And thank you for joining us today. And like and subscribe as always. Thanks!